Well, good for you, son. What'd you need the pliers for? I've been over at Margaret's house doing a job for her mother. Oh, that's a good boy. What did she ask you to do? She didn't ask me. I thought of it myself. I tuned her piano. <laughs> must be in some other part of the jungle. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, boys, I saw a wild tiger and a couple of lions way down the street past Margaret's house. Why don't you go check on it? Because that'd be dumb, Mr. Wilson. Oh, it would. Sure, that's the middle of the ocean. <laughs> oh. You chopping up the ground again, Mr. Wilson? Uh-huh. Little Mr. Wilson likes to chop up the ground. How come? I guess he likes tender ground. You want us to move that wheelbarrow closer, Mr. Wilson? Boys, I'm growing this special garden for a special reason. So I'm going to ask you to stay out of this entire area for a while. You may use the front sidewalk, of course. Yeah, on account of it belongs to the city anyways. Uh, yes, yeah. but I'm going to ask you not to come on my property. You want to see how me and Tommy can climb this fence? I do not. If you want to come over here, walk around the way you're supposed to. Oh, 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 no, no, boy, no. Uh, all right, boys, now that you're here, boys, 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 now that you're here, stay right beside me. Stay out of that. Come, come over here where I can keep my eye on you. Boy, that sure is a swell wheelbarrow, Mr. Wilson. Yes, I know it is, and you just stay away from it. It's full of plant food. What time do you feed the plants, Mr. Wilson? Oh, no special time. Do plants have teeth? Of course not. Look, boys, really, I'm quite busy. You want us to move the wheelbarrow closer? No. If plants don't have teeth, how do they eat the food? Boys, if I let you bring the wheelbarrow over here, will you both go home and let me work? Sure, Mr. Wilson. Uh, 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 just a minute. Now, if you spill one ounce of that plant food on the lawn, I want you both to know your parents are going to get a report about you. It'll get you in very bad trouble. We won't spill it. Mr. Wilson, you want us to put it back where it was for some reason? No, thank you. Goodbye, boys. Yeah, well, <laughs> goodbye, I guess. My God! Boys, what? Oh, <laughs> so, Mitchell, you just have to keep Dennis out of my flowers. <laughs> the Garden Club Awards are coming up soon, and I'm trying to get ready for them. Couldn't you just put a lock on your gate, Mr. Wilson? I'd be happy to pay for it. Oh, good heavens. I've tried that several times. <laughs> All he does is climb over the fence and ask me if I know my gate's lock. <laughs> I'll just have to find something to keep him occupied. Yeah. He's been asking for a tool chest. Oh, no. Uh, can you imagine tools in the hands of a little uh, alert boy like Dennis? I mean, you know how well he does with his bare hands. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, he's asleep. Oh, you should see him with that little foot sticking out under the covers. <laughs> Alice, Mr. Wilson's been telling me... Yes, I know. Dennis has been helping him again. Well, he's got to stop. The garden club's coming up soon, and Mr. Wilson feels he can do much better alone. I'm sure he can. 
You won a prize for your dahlias last year, didn't you? Oh, fourth. The same as the year before. But this year, I'm going all out for the blue ribbon. And don't you tell Mrs. Wilson when she gets back. She's gone to visit her sister, you know. But I've got some dahlia bulbs coming all the way from Seattle that cost $25 a piece. $25 dahlia bulbs? Yes, sir. And I worked in that dahlia bed till you could grow broom handles in it. So you see how important it is to me that Dennis... Oh, of course I do. Henry, if Dennis does anything to spoil Mr. Wilson's flower bed, why, we'll just simply have to punish him. Well, I agree, but I, I still say the best way to keep him away is to keep him busy. Yes, keep him busy. What about a little flower garden of his own? He does love flowers. Oh, Mitchell, if that does the job, I'll dig the garden myself. I'll plant it. I'll water it three times a day. I'll even come over at night and watch for snails. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't have to do that, Mr. Wilson, but we would appreciate any suggestions you might have. Oh. We'll need a few things. Oh, sure. Well, you go over to old Maryvale's nursery and tell him I sent you. But you be careful. You know, that gossipy old bandit's been known to steal the socks right out from under his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll do that, Miss <laughs> Oh, Dennis will be so thrilled. You know, I almost feel like waking him up to tell him about hey, it. Hey, oh, no. <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, I want to keep the picture of that little foot sticking out from under the covers. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks, Mitchell, and uh, good night, all. <laughs> Over there. How come it's standing on its head? <laughs> Little boy, don't you do nothing but ask questions? Dennis, you shouldn't run ahead of me like that. I hope he hasn't been bothering you. Oh, no, not at all. That's a fine little boy you've got there. <laughs> now, uh... <laughs> Is there something that I can do for you? Oh, yes, Dennis and I are going to plant a little flower garden, and we'll need a few things. He's very much interested in that wheelbarrow. Gee, Dad, can I have it? Well, no, Dennis. Uh, our neighbor has one we can borrow. Yeah, but he won't let anybody drive it but him. No, Dennis. Uh, I believe our neighbor's a friend of yours, Mr. Merivale. Golly! Is this Mr. Merivale? Dennis, you're interrupting. His name is Wilson, George Wilson. I know him. He sent away to Seattle for Dahlia Bulb. Yes, yes, that's the one. Well, Mr. Wilson and I and Dennis are... Dennis, what are you doing? Waiting for Mr. Maryville to win his cash register. Why? So I can see it. See what? Mr. Wilson says Mr. Maryville has still got the first penny he ever earned. Why, I'll bet it's a hundred years old. That's enough, Dennis. I'm sure Mr. Wilson never said anything of the kind. I heard him say it several times, Dad. He says Mr. Maryville steals people's socks, and he's still got the first pity he ever earned. Go over and look at the flowers. Gee, Dad, do I have to? Uh, yes, yes. Dad? Yes? Call me if he opens his cash register. <laughs> Boy, this sure is gonna be a dinky little garden, Dennis. Yeah, but it's gonna go down quite a ways. How far? Clear to China, maybe. Gee, no fooling. Sure. We even gotta make sure the roots don't stick out and make people stumble around down there. Hi, right, Tommy. <clears throat> you wanna help Dennis dig his garden? No, thank you, Mr. Mitchell. You're missing out on a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I'm not. Bye, Dennis. Bye, Tommy. <laughs> I'm gonna have the best garden in the whole world, huh, Dad? Well, maybe, but it's gonna take a lot of hard work. I know it. Hi, Mitchell. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> I think we found the answer. Oh, good. I'm sorry I'm late, Mitchell, but I had a big fight with old Maryvale. 
It seems some little boy was in there this morning and said a few things that... <laughs> Dennis. I'm afraid so, but it was entirely innocent. Oh, that's all right, Mitchell. <laughs> that old goat had it coming to him. <laughs> if Dennis wasn't so busy, I'd shake his hand. <laughs> You know, when he, he, he told me that the little boy was waiting to see the first penny he ever made, I thought I'd... I certainly could use some. Might as well turn off the water, Mitchell. I'll do it! <laughs> well, they say water's better for you anyway. Well, I suppose so. Here, Mitchell. No, go ahead. <laughs> oh. for my own garden, Mitchell. They look a little like dried up sweet potatoes to me. Oh, I know, but never mind what they look like now. Where do you see the dahlias? $25 a piece, it seems to me that even the bulb should have a little personality. <laughs> Why, Mitchell, how can you think of money when you look at a beautiful flower? Why, it, it's irreverent. Uh, sorry, I believe I know how you feel. Besides, I don't give a hang about the expense. This is going to be George Wilson's year, and nothing is going to stop me from winning that blue ribbon. Hi! With one possible exception. How come you're planting those scraggly-looking sweet potatoes, Mr. Wilson? Well, with the right kind of sweet potatoes, Dennis, I, uh, might win myself a sweet prize. Never mind about the sweet potatoes, Dennis. Just remember, if you do anything to spoil Mr. Wilson's garden, you'll be in real bad trouble. Now, is that clear? Gee, sure. <laughs> Run along and play. Okay. I'm sorry that I said your sweet potatoes were scraggly, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy and I. Yeah, but how about me? <laughs> They're in one of those sacks. Hey, look at the sweet potatoes. I've seen sweet potatoes before. Me too. Mr. Wilson just planted some real scraggly ones in his garden. Yeah, that Mr. Wilson sure is a goofy man. He is not. He is too. He is not. He helps little kids build their gardens. Sure, but he snitches to your folks all the time. Yeah, well, he can't help but a piece of tattletale. <laughs> what are you going to do with those sweet potatoes? I'm going to plant them in Mr. Wilson's garden so he can win a big prize. Won't he get sore? Heck no. Dad told me not to spoil Mr. Wilson's garden. Now this is going to make it better. <laughs> What are you going to do with these old scraggly ones, Dennis? I don't know. Maybe we'll have them for supper. <laughs> Wait till good old Mr. Wilson sees what comes up from those sweet potatoes. <laughs> see that, but why are you lying under the sink? I like to hear the water go past. <laughs> well, never mind that. Come on out now. Uh, Dennis, do you know anything about these? Sure. Those are Mr. Wilson's sweet potatoes. What are they doing here? Well, 
Mr. Wilson planted those scraggly ones, so I dug them up and put them in the one shoe bought. <laughs> Do you know what you've done? Sure. I took out scraggly ones and put in good ones. <laughs> How could you do such a thing? It was easy. I knew right where he planted them. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Dennis, these are dahlia bulbs, not sweet potatoes. Mr. Wilson paid $25 a piece for them. Gee, is somebody in trouble? <laughs> somebody certainly is. What are you going to tell Mr. Wilson? Well, I'll just tell him that... I'll, I'll simply explain to him that... I think I'll take the bulbs out and put them on the service porch and let your father tell him. I know you wanted to help good old Mr. Wilson. We all want to help good old Mr. Wilson. I did everything I could. You certainly did. You took out his dahlia bulbs and put in sweet potatoes. Now I'm going to have to take those bulbs back and try and explain what happened. Can I go watch television? <laughs> or do you want to shout at me some more? <laughs> There'll be no television for you tonight, young man. I want you to go right up to your room and think about what you've done to Mr. Wilson. Your father's right, Dennis. I'll bring your dinner up to you on a tray. Would an extra dessert be too heavy to carry upstairs, Mom? Tonight, you get no dessert. Come on, run along, young man. Just what are you going to tell Mr. Wilson, Henry? Well, I'll just tell him that... Well, I'll explain to him that... I'll just tell him that... That's where I got stuck. I've got to get those bulbs back to him. But I don't know how I'm going to face him. I just haven't got the heart to tell him. Besides, he'll be so upset he'll never speak to us again. And after all the help he's been with Dennis's garden... Wait a minute. Why do I have to tell him anything? You mean just hand him the bulbs and run? No, I'll wait till Mr. Wilson goes to bed tonight, then I'll sneak over and replant the bulbs. <laughs> That's a wonderful idea. Then he'll never even know they were gone. That's just what I'll do. May not be as bad as we thought. I gotta go plant Mr. Wilson's flowers back for him. <laughs> Fix 
him this time. Wilson set my sinuses back ten years. <laughs> At least I got the Dahlia problem settled. <laughs> You must have got Dennis some Dahlia bulb. <laughs> they, they look good, too. Huh. I'll just stick them in for him. just don't understand it, Maryvale. I paid $25 a piece for those bulbs. Yeah? Well, that was very clever of you. My wife never pays more than 15 cents a pound. For Dahlia bulbs? <laughs> Sweet potatoes. <laughs> yes? I put the bulbs back, Dad. You put them back? I put them back. <laughs> Who put what back where? Well, Dennis thought you planted sweet potatoes, so he took them out and replaced them with what he thought were better sweet potatoes. <laughs> what? I came over and took out the sweet potatoes. No, oh, I took out the bulbs. I... Then I actually put in the sweet potatoes and took the dahlia bulbs and put them in our service porch. <laughs> well, well, who planted them in the little boy's garden? I did. <laughs> <laughs> to little Dennis Mitchell goes the blue ribbon for dahlias. Thank you very much, lady. Yes, Dennis. Is it okay if I give it to a friend of mine? Well, it's yours to do with as you wish. Thank you. He did a beautiful job. Forgive us if we hurry on. We have 12 more ribbons to bestow. Of course. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, no, Dennis, no. It, it's yours. Uh-uh. You bought them and you planted them. Well, just the same, <laughs> Mr. I... Wilson? Yes? To Mr. George Wilson for introducing in his garden the lushness of sweet potato vines for ground cover. <laughs> a new ribbon for originality. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh. Congratulations, Mr. Wilson. Thank you very much. Uh, will you forgive us? We have 11 more ribbons to bestow. Oh, well, uh, yes, of course. Goodbye. Uh, go goodbye. <laughs> and, uh, thanks again. <laughs> Dennis? Yeah, Mr. Wilson? How would you like me to take you for a ride in my wheelbarrow? Oh, God! Come on! <laughs> Here comes the sweet potato special! <laughs> 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 